Howdy y'all, DJ TJ here with a how-to. Take the sharp edge off a of cut glass. In today's how-to, I'll be showing everyone how I take the edge off of a freshly cut piece of glass. The primary purpose of this video is just to sh help people out that are making shelves for a display case or some other hobby project. Starting out, I'll be showing you guys my PPE list and then the tools. And later in the video, I'll go into a little bit more detail on how and why I use all this. Then I'll give you a demonstration. Okay, so I have all the gear, the PPE, and the tools that we're going to need to take the edge off of this freshly cut glass. Um, first off, I have my Dremel here, or another rotary tool you can use. You can, um, I'm using the 83142 bit for that. I have some gloves with a uh, rubberized sort of texture to the palms that will help you grip it. I uh, have a mask and it's very important to have a mask. Um, you could probably get away with just a regular paper mask but the reason I'm using my better 3M mask is because it has a really good seal so I know if something kicks up it isn't going to go like down the mask and you know somehow get in my mouth. <laughs> um, I have a pair of iPro. Now these have sort of the foam edging so it has a pretty good seal. Um, you could also use goggles have some earplugs that I'm going to put in not only for the noise but we don't want to get like some weird little piece of glass kicked up and get in your ear somehow and all-purpose oil some paper towels and um, the cut glass we got this from Ace Hardware this was primarily because this is the cheapest place I bought a whole nine shelves at 12 by 14 inches or 14 and one eighth inches and it was twenty nine dollars cut um, when I called all the other places around the area to get cut glass everything they quoted me on was about twenty five dollars for a single um, shelf cut now they would have done the edge and that would have made it real simple but you know I'm saving like hundred and fifty dollars or so doing this all right, uh, one thing I want to talk about before we begin anything is you can take the edge off of the glasses using sort of a sanding block. Um, this isn't a really good example. This is one of those foam blocks that sort of has the, um, the grit adhered to it. <clears throat> I suggest you get a piece of really thick sandpaper, really high grit, and then just wrap it around a piece of wood it is probably the best. Um, I'm just bringing this up because if you don't have a rotary tool and you don't want to go through all this trouble Maybe you're only trimming one edge of a piece of glass It might just be worth your investment or time or money or whatever you want to say to get uh, Just get a piece of sandpaper wrapped around a piece of wood and you can do it. It just takes a little bit longer Okay, the first thing you want to do when you've got your glass laid on the edge of the table you can put a sort of a bead of oil down the edge uh, you could also apply it to the tip of the rotary tool and then you're going to hold your tool sort of at a 45 degree angle to the edge of the glass and run it down I like to do at least two passes one down one back or two down and it'll take the burrs and edge off um, I also spend some little time working sort of the corner and I'll file that down so it's sort of like not a sharp point. Um, you need to be super careful when you're doing this because if you do sort of slip with your hand, you can sort of make a mark on the glass. It is an, etch an etching tool that I am using. So if you wanted to carve your initials in the sides, you could also do that. And then you just work, I work down um, all four edges and then I will flip the glass over and work um, the other side. The 
the final thing I'll do is take uh, my paper towel and I'll go ahead and wipe around the edges to get um, most of the big shards off and some of the oil off. This is just sort of a preparatory cleaning. Then I will use newspaper or newsprint. I'm going to wrap that around and place it in the box or container that I'm holding it in. The good thing about the newsprint is it'll help you later um, sort of get the glass off of each other, especially if there was a little oil left because it'll like to stick. So you want to put something in between those glass panes when you lay them in the box. Thanks for watching.